everybody. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the messy garage. It is winter in Wisconsin, so things get mucky, especially when you're playing with uh, snow blowing equipment. And this is my Elite 1024. It's the same as 99% of uh, two stage snow blowers. And today I hit something, a rock or a chunk of ice, where I broke my shear pins. So I need to replace those. And I thought this would be a good chance to show you how to do that. The shear pin is basically on your auger. These red things that turn around are your auger, and they turn the snow and throw it into your second dairy blower, which shoots it out through the chute. Now this is designed to be a safety mechanism, the shear pin. If the blades like they did today hit something, it will break the pin, which goes right there and right there before it uh, breaks the much more expensive replacement item, the gearbox. So it's a bolt that goes in there and it's recommended to use the, the uh, manufacturer, manufacturer's recommended shear pin. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the back. Actually, I'm gonna put this on a tripod. I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, that showed what I wanted to show you. You can see the second stage was spinning real fast. This one just rotated. So that means that uh, they're not attached to the shaft, which is being turned by the motor. Let's uh, put this on its edge so I can get at it and show you a little bit more. Here we go, I'm gonna spin this around. I took the key out and you see that hole right there in the center? That usually will have half the uh, shear pin in there, but in my case, they both came out, which is kind of nice. If they're stuck in there, just get a punch or a screwdriver and pop it out with a mallet. Uh, this one is not lined up with the hole, so I'm gonna use another screwdriver and turn this around until I uh, am able to find the hole in the bar in, in the middle of the shaft so they match up. And I just wanna show you how I do that. See that hole? Right now, I'm going right to the, the shaft inside. So if I keep my screwdriver in there and turn this, Eventually, there we go. I hope you didn't get to see it. I put the screwdriver in there and turned it until I actually found the hole. Now I'm ready for my bolts. So I'm gonna zip off to a local big box store that says they have nine in stock, their Briggs and Stratton uh, shear pin kit. And I'll be back to show you how to clip them in place and we'll get back to snow blowing. Okay, that was a pretty productive visit to the local hardware store. For $5.99, we got a set of four Briggs & Stratton shear pins. This is all there is to it. We're going to just stick this through that hole and then cotter pin the top through there. Pull it through. And that should do it. Back in the garage. Pushing this through. Fits there. I'm gonna do it from the other side so you can see me put the cotter pin on. Okay, and then the cotter pin just goes through the little hole. Push. One more. There we go. This auger is now attached to the drive shaft. Repeat the process on the other side. Same thing. With two spare and a little bit of luck, this should get me through the rest of what I hope is a record year for snow because we have season passes on the mountain. What would a DIY how to fix it video be without the final Proof that it's fixed. So, key in on prime. Okay, let's see if I can start it left handed. There you go, folks, it works. That's how you replace the shear pins on a two-stage snowblower. 
Uh, keep these things on hand, probably about a dollar each when you buy them in bulk. I now have two spare, so I have to get outside and finish the, uh, the driveway. If you like this video, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit like. Also, if you want to buy some shear pins for Briggs & Stratton, I'll stick a link in the description below on where you can buy a set just to have one on hand for when you need one for yourself. Thanks for watching.